Inside the Cinema 4D plugin, we can have the possibility to make two or several fluids interact with each other in the same scene. We're going to display the geometry as ISO lines to see better the behavior of the fluids in the viewport. Let's add a real flow emitter to the scene. When we add a real flow emitter, the emitter, fluid and scene node are added automatically. We're going to adjust the emitter where we want to start to emit. We select the tube geometry and add a collision tag so that the fluid can collide with it. We are going to add a key volume to remove the particles coming out of the tube. We adjust the volume to the size we need. Since there is already a fluid in the scene, the fluid node has been automatically linked to this daemon. If we simulate now, the particles that are outside the K-volume box will be removed. We are going to hide the K-volume in the viewport so we can see the particles. and we are going to add another circular emitter and place it in the scene. In this case, the new emitter is being controlled by the parameters of the same fluid since it has been automatically linked to this fluid. If we simulate now, we see that both emitters are emitting particles controlled by the fluid node, which indicates the type of solver used for these emitters. Select the newly added emitter and remove the connection with the fluid node. We're going to generate a new fluid and select the new added emitter, we drag the new fluid to it. Now this emitter is going to be controlled by the solver that we have defined in this new added fluid. If we simulate now, we see that the fluid isn't being affected by anything as it is not connected with any node yet apart from emitter. First, we select the gravity and connect the new fluid to it. We do the same with the tack collider for tube geometry. And now, if we want to make both fluids collide with each other, we must connect them. To do this, we are going to select one of the fluids and connect it to the other one. The same must be done with the other fluid to generate a bidirectional collision. Now we are seeing that fluids are colliding against each other, but both fluids are independent of one another. So we can modify the type of solver or parameters for each one without affecting the other fluid. We can see that the K-volume is not taking into account the new fluid. So we are going to select the K-volume and add the fluid to it. As we said, we can change the type of solver for one of these fluids to see how the fluid behaves when colliding. For example, we choose a granular for one of these fluids and run the simulation again. We're going to change the colors for the granular. Run the simulation again. We can see in simulation time how fluids behave by modifying parameters as friction inside the tap collider. We are going to activate the GPU to speed up the simulation. To do that, we need to select the scene node and check the GPU checkbox. If we had several GPUs, it would be possible to indicate which GPU we want to use for the simulation. We simulate and see how the simulation is now faster 
with a simple GTX 960. We're going to change the type of fluid to viscous and simulate again. By mixing fluids, we can achieve a lot of fluid simulation effects. We could even animate parameters as well as the type of fluid to change it in the simulation time if we wish. Also, we can change parameters, for example density for each fluid, affecting how other fluids will affect the fluid when colliding.